Hey, I'm Spencer. I'm standing here with one of my favorite banana cultivars. This is a dwarf maoli, um, and we're about to dig this plant out right now so that we can propagate um, the pups. Um, so this plant is quite large right now. It is very close to flowering, um, but we need to dig it out because um, one of our other mats over there of the same cultivar got banana bunchy top virus. Um, so because that plant got BBTV, I need to kill that plant immediately. So that plant we killed a couple days ago. That one's dead and gone. So now we just have this large uh, plant as one clump, and we have a smaller plant right over there that's about this tall. Um, and that is the last two um, of this cultivar plants that we have. So what I've learned with growing bananas here with Banana Bunchy Top very prevalent around us is to keep three mats of each cultivar so that if one gets Bunchy Top, you can kill it. And then you can come and take pups from around the other plant, from a different plant, propagate those, and then make more plants. So we want to always have three. And since this is my favorite banana variety, this is my favorite food source, actually. This, I've been growing this plant for about five years now, this cultivar. Uh, this plant is endangered. Um, I love this plant very much. I don't want to lose it. So we killed that one. This plant is about to flower, but I need these keikis because I don't want to lose my favorite plant. Um, so banana bunchy top virus spreads by aphids. Um, once it gets inside of a plant, the entire plant gets it. All of the pups get it. So it's systemic within the plant. So once you have it within it, it will always be in it and it will just be continued to be spread by aphids. So in our area, we have a banana right there, we have a banana right there, we have a banana right there, we have a banana right here, we have a banana right there, uh, we have a banana right there, we have another one over there, another one over there, another one over there. So we have bananas everywhere. Um, so we need to manage our bunchy top very quickly so that we don't infect our other bananas. All of the banana cultivars that we're growing are in danger. So I need to stay on top of management so that I can keep these genetics alive. So we're sacrificing our food here so that we can keep the genetic alive. So we're gonna come, we're gonna dig around this thing very carefully, you know, nice and wide around it so we don't damage the pups. Um, and then we're gonna push it over. And that, by allowing the trunk to stay here and the top of the plant, it has a lot of weight. So we can pivot it with the weight by using our tools to push it out of the ground. So we're gonna be doing that with this. And then we are going to very delicately remove all the cinder, remove all the soil, remove all the substrate from the roots so that we can pull apart those individuals. And actually they're so small. Here's our biggest one. Um, we have another one here. They're all so small right down here and right down in here, you know, only that tall above the ground, um, that they're going to have really small corms. So we're going to have to actually cut them off of the mom. Um, the bigger ones might pop off, um, but it's a very delicate procedure when we're working with these bananas that we really care a lot about. Um, I think that's everything. So we're going to dig it, remove all of the plants, or remove all of the pups from it. Um, we're going to shave down the corms to look for weevils. Uh, if the corms are big enough or looking somewhat damaged because we have weevil problems here too. So we're just staying on top of our pests by digging our plants out. And it's unfortunate that this plant is so big and so close to flowering. It's probably going to flower within this month or this next month, you know, within one month of now. Um, but we got to do what we got to do. So that thing's going to come out of the ground.